A lost item from one man's childhood recently turned up in a thrift store more than a thousand miles away. Incredible story. We recently showed you this story of the parents who found the old baseball glove. Today, NBC4's Elise Jingari tracked down the Columbus teacher who's the previous owner of the missing ball glove. Christopher Lisi was just 12 years old when he left his favorite baseball glove on a field like this in Willoughby, Ohio. And now he hasn't thought about that glove in decades until he got a text message from his mother last week. Just heard my phone ding. I looked at it and she says, is this yours? She sent me a picture and I recognized the handwriting. I recognized it's all. And she said, uh, she said, we found it at a Florida thrift store. And I just said, buy it. They have no idea how it got there. After all, it was last seen in Chris's hands more than 40 years ago, and he remembers it like it was yesterday. Just finished an all-star tournament. And after the last game, I guess, you know, we'd hand out trophies. I left it sitting down there. I went back the next day. It was gone. That glove, you could do anything, you know, catch any ball. It didn't matter. It was just when you're a kid, that glove is special to you. Chris says knowing he will have it back in his hands soon makes him emotional. It takes you back to thinking about what was going on at that time in your life. You feel it in your eyes. You remember writing my name on the thumb. My mom writes the name on the inside, but I wrote my name on the thumb because I want that's my glove. As his mother describes here in a text, it will give us a great story to tell. And then later on, my dad goes, you owe me a buck 49. That's my, my dad's a wise guy. Yeah, I felt pretty bad for a lot of reasons because you know, I know my parents worked hard to get me what I have. So any possessions I had mattered to me because I know how hard they were to come by. He does wonder one thing, though. My first thought was my name was on that glove. Why didn't somebody try to get it back to me? But as soon as he gets that glove back in his hands. Oh, I'm going to sleep with it every night. And I told my wife, I said, you know what? We got two gloves now. We can play catch in the backyard together. You can use my glove I've had as an adult. I use my childhood glove. Lisi tells me he hopes to pass that favorite glove along to a future grandchild so that it can stay in the family for generations. Local for you in Columbus, Elise Chingari, NBC4.